Welcome to your future career in the construction industry. I'm Peyton Hosh. As you are thinking about your future and deciding what to do after graduation, keep in mind that construction offers many fulfilling career paths with excellent job growth, high wages, and oftentimes no student loan debt. Raul, Colt, and I will walk you through all of these possibilities. While we went through a traditional four-year college to get our start in the industry, the majority of skilled positions in the trades don't require that at all. To give you some background, I started college minoring in business. After working a few semesters in the trades, I switched majors to construction management at the University of Wisconsin Stout, minoring in business administration. This led me to two consecutive internships with Krauss Anderson and eventually a full-time position as a project engineer. This industry allows for significant growth as I have since become an assistant project manager. My name is Raul Shaw. I'm a field engineer with Kraus Anderson Construction Company. I've been with the company for a year and a half now. I started after graduating college at the University of Wisconsin Stout with a degree in construction management. I also previously went through the KA intern program before graduating. Hi, my name is Cole Tobin. I'm a project superintendent for Kraus Anderson Construction Company. Uh, I got into the trades after college. Uh, when I graduated high school, I didn't know what a great opportunity the trades could be with a good wage and all the good benefits of it. Uh, so I went to a four-year college and after I graduated, found out about the career in the trades and started as an apprentice in the carpentry field. Uh, I went through the four-year apprenticeship, as we'll talk about later, uh, and learned some, some skills to be a good carpenter and after that got an opportunity to be a superintendent learning through Krauss Anderson. During our time together we will be talking about the construction industry, the difference between residential and commercial construction, different requirements in both the trades and construction professions, the many jobs that are in the construction industry, what people do when on site and how much money they make and the number of jobs that are available. Finally we'll get to the quickie quiz don't worry, it's not too hard, as we will talk about the next steps you might take if you are interested in having a career in the construction industry. Let's get started. The construction industry is broken down into two areas, residential and commercial construction. Residential construction consists of single family houses. This might also include seasonal houses such as cabins or lake homes. Commercial construction includes everything else. It is the large structures used for different purposes, as well as family housing, but on a larger scale, such as apartment buildings and senior centers. Within commercial construction, workers are divided between two types of roles on any given job site. They are the trades and then the professions. Trade workers are skilled individuals who do everything from pouring cement, laying bricks, painting the walls, installing drywall, doing electrical and any of the other jobs needed to build or remodel a new project. Professions are made up of people who manage the processes, work directly with the owners and architects and ensure that the work is done safely, on time and at or under cost. One of the primary differences between trades and professions is unions. Tradesmen and tradeswomen working on commercial job sites are normally affiliated with their respective union, whereas people in professions are not. In the case of Kroos Anderson, our professionals are non-union, whereas most of our superintendents and all of our tradespeople are union. We then partner with subcontractors in the trades. These tradespeople are affiliated with unions. Building large structures requires partnership and trade unions are our key partners. Now we'll take a look at some of the opportunities for the trades workers in this profession. You can see some of the different trades and what their hourly wage is, as well as what their job outlook for growth is. One thing to note is that these hourly wages are the average. Carpenters, the average is a statewide average at $27 an hour. If you were to join the union, their hourly wage is $37 an hour when you average that over a 2000 hour work year, that comes out to roughly $70,000 a year, which is a very good living. Instead of having to go to school to learn this profession and pay to take those classes, most of the unions encourage you to go through an apprenticeship. 
An apprenticeship is a great way to gain book knowledge, but also with real world experience. You can work with your hands in the field with a partner who's been in that field for many years and can share their knowledge with you. And then you go to class and that typically averages out to four full weeks of school per year. And then the rest of the time you're on the job site learning. Some of the positions in the profession side is project manager. Uh, typically requires a four-year college degree with an annual salary of $85,000 to $150,000 a year. A project coordinator is one year to two year administrative experience and they make forty-five dollars to $55,000 a year. And then a project superintendent who is both in an office and on the job site. Uh, typical requirement is a certificate from a college or tech school or five to ten years of in the field experience and the annual salary on average is $85,000 to $100,000 a year. And all of these have a great outlook for growth. I would like to provide you details about a couple of important positions in the professions, what they do and what a day in the life might look like. Project managers bid on new projects, oversee all elements of the contract with the owner and monitor the financials. Often, our bigger projects are multi-million dollar endeavors, so being a project manager is a big responsibility. And with the industry growing like it is, they have an excellent job outlook. Project coordinators are the ultimate multitaskers at our company. They must manage all documents and orders for their projects, manage relationships with the project managers and subcontractors, and make sure everything runs smoothly. As with project managers and the increasing demand in the construction industry, there is a very good outlook for this future in career. Hi, I'm Carol Sendy. I started at Cross Anderson in 1984, a long time ago. Started as a carpenter apprentice, worked my way up into a field superintendent position. And all of these trades have basically a four to five year apprenticeship. There's no cost to this. So as you're thinking about that, you have to think no college tuition, no student loan involved in this situation. Mainly know that most everything you learn is on the job. And the superintendent really is responsible for the whole job. The safety on the job, all the scheduling, the coordination, making sure everything is in its correct place, done the correct way. So as you go through, you're learning how to read blueprints. You have specifications that every trade has to meet. I always think of, and this may sound crazy, but I do think of a conductor in front of a huge orchestra. And you're kind of trying to tie all the pieces together. Thinking about if any of you are interested in any kind of a trade, it's a very rewarding business. Every day, you're working yourself out of a job onto the next job. And that is the most rewarding thing, I think, that comes out of uh, the construction business. There are so many major structures that companies like Krauss Anderson build in communities across the region. We build schools, hospitals, government buildings and apartments, along with community centers, airports, and office buildings, and other structures that make our community better. Let's take a look and see if you recognize any of our work. True or false? Wearing a hard hat is the only safety requirement on a construction site. The answer is false. Everybody coming on a work site is required to wear PPE, or personal protective equipment, which includes at a minimum a reflective vest, hard hat, safety glasses, and appropriate footwear. Let's take a look at these workers at a construction site. No, these are not Krauss Anderson team members. Who can point out at least one safety violation in this photo? Two 
two people aren't wearing hard hats, none are wearing safety glasses, two people aren't wearing protective vests. There's also the question of the lack of ear protection, and it might not be a good idea to maneuver a backhoe over old tires. At Kraus Anderson, it's safety first, no matter what. True or false, there are a lot of women who work in the construction industry. The answer is true. Overall, in the United States, about 14% of construction jobs are held by women. There are many women working at Kraus Anderson. Traditionally, a male-dominated industry, today, women hold important roles at the company, and as part of our inclusion and diversity efforts, they are continuing to build great careers in the industry. The average salary of a construction superintendent is A, a million dollars per year, B, $100,000 per year, C, $50,000 per year, or D, $35,000 per year. The answer is B, $100,000 per year. That's almost $50 an hour. And that is not including benefits such as health care, dental care, bonuses, vacation time, and other great incentives. True or false, construction jobs are basically low-tech manual labor positions. The answer is false. While building a school, hospital, or apartment complex can be challenging, there are many high-tech innovations that help us create state-of-the-art facilities in the region and across the country. In conclusion, now it's your turn to take the next steps. After listening to this presentation, you must reflect and decide, is a career in construction right for me? If you answered yes, or even maybe, to that question, I recommend that you speak to your career counselor to get advice about how to go forwards and research your options. There are great programs that will allow you to build skills and earn money through on-the-job training opportunities while you're still in high school. And if you're college bound, I recommend looking into two and four year programs with degrees like construction management that will be the foundation for your career once you graduate. Thank you for your time.